So, if you're interested in travel topics on Instagram, you might have seen this picture at least once. There is this beautiful street somewhere in Germany. It's surrounded by old houses. There is some kind of a monument in the middle of the street. And even more important, there are these beautiful cherry blossom trees. If you scroll through all these travel pages on Instagram, especially during April, you will find hundreds and hundreds of pictures that show exactly the same street. And it always looks like it's the most idyllic place on earth. The pictures are always a bit different. Sometimes they were taken in the evening, sometimes they were taken during the day, sometimes there are people on the picture like on this one, sometimes there are models doing things like what the heck is that? I think this is a bit strange because actually these cherry blossom trees are not that special here in Germany. You will find them actually in like every big city, for example in Berlin or Hamburg. Well, even in Hanover there are cherry blossom trees like these. But they are not nearly as famous as this particular street you will find on like every influencer Instagram picture. So what's up with this street? Why is it so famous? And why the heck is it all over the internet? Let's find out. So, here we are. <laughs> Welcome to Bonn, a city in Germany's west. As you can see here, it lies on a huge river called the Rhine. And in the past, Bonn played a quite important role in Germany's history because it was the capital of the western part of Germany during the time when Germany was separated. But to be honest, that's a long time ago. And meanwhile, in the year 2021, Bonn actually is just a normal, quite unspectacular, mid-sized German city. Except one thing, Bonn is also the place where we should find the famous road that broke the internet. Okay, so there is a place marked on Google Maps called Cherry Blossom Kirschblüte. Um, we have to walk like 15 minutes to get there. It must be the Heerstraße, the Heerstraße in Bonn. Okay, I could actually take an e-scooter, but damn, this is so dangerous to drive here. Okay, it seems like we're almost there. I think we have to turn right now. And then we should reach the old town of Bonn. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, do you see that? There it is. This is actually a very good day to visit the Cherry Blossom Roads because it's raining and there are not so many people here. A few people taking pictures but it's not that overcrowded. So here we are, that's the Heerstraße. And you can also see there's a monument in the middle of the street, but that's actually not the monument I'm searching for. I think we have to turn right or left. Let's go right. So here we are. That's the famous monument you see on every picture. And that's the famous Cherry Blossom Road. Let's try to recreate that famous picture. <laughs> Ta-da! And here it is. 
this is the famous scene you see on basically every picture on the internet except that it's raining today <laughs> anyway we found it <laughs> okay let me share a few things i noticed when i came here first of all Yes, this street is actually really beautiful and definitely worth seeing, but it's not nearly as idyllic as it seems on all these Instagram pictures. And that's mainly because of the fact that cars are allowed here. To be precise, these cherry blossom streets are a very noisy place. There are cars going in and out like basically all the time. There are people with huge SUVs searching for a parking space which they definitely will not find here. There are trucks going in and out because there is also a supermarket in the street and also a few cafes waiting for their delivery. And then of course there are people on the streets taking pictures what the car drivers obviously don't like. I heard horns honking like three or four times during the time I was standing here so this place might be nice to look at but it's also really hectic. Well and then there is another thing I noticed. Since the street is so famous on the internet there are a lot of people that obviously just come here to take the perfect Instagram picture. Some have accessoires with them, for example an umbrella that fits the color of the cherry blossom. Some pose in front of these trees for like half an hour to take the perfect picture. And I have the feeling Many of these people don't really care about the beauty of this place. The trees and the old buildings and stuff, they don't even take a look. They care about their Instagram profile and when they got what they wanted, they just leave. Okay, that was an interesting trip. Um, you know, all these cherry blossom trees you see here in Bonn were planted in the 1980s. At that time, the whole old town was being renovated, so they planted these trees and they became some kind of an icon of the city during the past 40 years. But to be honest, that doesn't really explain why they became such an internet sensation. Well, let's go back to the studio and let's do a little research. Jesus. Okay, to answer the question why this street has become so famous, we have to go back to a time when Facebook was still a thing. There is this Facebook page called Places to See Before You Die. It has 1.8 million followers and it basically works like this. Since 2010, almost every day, a picture is posted on this page of a place that is so beautiful that you definitely should visit it during your lifetime. For example, stunning places in Greece, in the US or in France. And in 2012, guess what they posted here? Right, the Cherry Blossom Avenue in Bonn. One of the most famous pictures shared on this page was taken by a photographer called André. The other one, a drone shot, was taken by a photographer called Lennart. I tried to reach them both via email or Instagram messages, but unfortunately they never answered. So the story behind those famous pictures might always remain a secret. But what happened after these pictures were published is no secret at all. People of course started to visit the place they have seen on the internet before and they started to share their own pictures on social platforms, especially on Instagram. And also the tourism office in Bonn noticed that, so they started actively promoting this Cherry Blossom Avenue as a highlight for tourists. Wir wussten, dass die Facebook-Seite Places to be before you die hier ein wichtiger Impulsgeber war, weil er uns zum einen natürlich kenntlich gemacht hat, wie wichtig die Kirschblüte gerade im japanischen Markt ist. Und vor diesem Hintergrund haben wir uns Gedanken gemacht, wie können wir dieses Fund, was wir in Bonn haben, in der Altstadt, halt nutzen, um genau diesen Markt anzusprechen. So sind wir in Kooperation mit Reiseveranstaltern in Bezug auf diesen Markt gegangen. Wir haben Gesellschaften kontaktiert, japanische, deutsch-japanische Gesellschaften und so weiter, die uns dabei geholfen haben, dass wenn wir dann wissen, 
wann sie blüht, wir genau diese informieren konnten, damit sie dementsprechend ihre Reise anpassen können, umplanen können und so weiter. Und das war im Grunde genommen, ja, etwas, was wir heute wahrscheinlich den viralen Effekt nennen würden. Es passierte das, was wir uns vorgenommen haben. Wir haben viele Menschen nach Bonn in die Altstadt zu Kirschblüte holen können. Diese haben dann dementsprechend über die sozialen Medien genau das abgebildet, was sie dort sehen. Das ging dann viral um die Welt und hat so natürlich maßgeblich dazu beigetragen, dass immer mehr Menschen auf die Kirschblüte in Bonn aufmerksam wurden. So, for the city of Bonn, the popularity of this Cherry Blossom Street is a huge success. And also, Udo Schäfer from the Tourism Office calls it like that. The number of overnight stays in Bonn in 2015 rose by 84% because of the Cherry Blossom Avenue. In 2017, there were even more overnight stays. Hundreds of people from Japan, China, but also Spain, Italy and the Netherlands are coming to Bonn every year to visit the famous street they saw on Instagram. But you know, every success also has a dark side. In this case, the dark side is called over-tourism. During the past years, especially before the pandemic, the streets in Bonn sometimes were so overcrowded by Instagram photographers that you could barely move. And especially the residents that live in that area started complaining about that. There are reports in the local media that tourists, for example, started urinating against house walls because there were so many people and they couldn't find a bathroom. There were also a few attacks against these cherry blossom trees during the past years. In 2019, for example, somebody painted the trees obviously to ruin all the Instagram photos. A year before that, somebody threatened to damage the trees with copper nails in case the photo madness won't be stopped. And since 2017, a yearly held cherry tree festival in Bonn is celebrated no longer because residents started to complain about all the rush in the streets. Also, the tourism office in Bonn knows about that problem and they have a few ideas for the future. Ich denke, Digitalisierung ist hier das richtige Stichwort, gerade mit Blick auf die Besucherlenkung. In den nächsten Jahren wird es darauf ankommen, dass wir genau dies aufgreifen und vorantreiben, um eine Entzerrung der ja, stark frequentierten Bereiche in der Stadt herbeizuführen. Wir wissen in Bezug auf die Kirschblüte, dass schon in den vergangenen Jahren die Besucher die Kirschblüte in seiner Blütezeit als Reiseanlass genommen haben, aber gleichzeitig auch andere Dinge in der Stadt wahrgenommen haben. Sie waren shoppen, sie haben Museen besucht und so weiter. Ferner wollen wir die weiteren Punkte der Kirschblüte kenntlich machen und auch frühzeitig in die Kommunikation bringen und somit auch Entzerrung herbeizuführen. Ein Ziel ist es ebenso im Rahmen eines digitalen Projektes, dass wir in der Zukunft vielleicht auch ein Ampelsystem einführen, was kenntlich macht, wie stark ja, in der Stadt frequentiert sind und gleichzeitig aber auch Alternativen anbietet. Dies alles, glaube ich, kann dazu beitragen, dass die Kirschblüte touristisch weiterhin an Relevanz gewinnt, aber gleichzeitig auch im Einklang mit den Einwohnern steht. Das ist unser Ziel, da arbeiten wir dran und da sind wir auch gut mutig. So, in 2022, when this whole pandemic thing hopefully is over, it's pretty clear that the Cherry Blossom Avenue in Bonn will be a massive tourist hotspot again. There will be hundreds and hundreds of people taking hundreds and hundreds of pictures of the same street, and that's okay. But if you plan a visit, maybe keep in mind The city of Bonn has a bit more to offer than just one street. And to be honest, if you want to take the perfect Instagram picture, you don't necessarily have to go where everybody else is going. Sometimes the more unknown hidden places are much more beautiful. Trust me. So, that was the story of a street that became famous on Instagram. I'm still not famous on Instagram, so you can follow me. <laughs> you can follow me also here on YouTube and uh, ring the bell so you won't miss any upcoming video. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you like to support me and my work, you can check out the Patreon link in the description. That's it for today. Have a safe journey and see you next time.